Breaking news. Tesla blacklisted in Sweden. Breaking news today. Tesla was put on a blacklist by the National Board for Consumer Disputes, ON, in Sweden. The National Board for Consumer Disputes, ON, is a public authority that functions roughly like a court. Their main task is to impartially try disputes between consumers and business operators. Claims are filled by the consumer. In the Nordic countries, Norway is clearly number one when it comes to sale of electric cars. In Norway, almost 9 out of 10 new sold cars are an electric car. Norway has, many, has in many years offered tax subsidies to everyone that buys a new electric car. Sweden is catching up with Norway, and in July, 13.4% of all new sold cars in Sweden was fully electric. In Sweden, they are selling even more plug-in hybrid cars. The market share for plug-in hybrid cars is almost 36%. Sweden offers many great incentives for electric vehicle buyers. With an EV market share of 50% and a growth of 200% from 2020 to 2021, Sweden is making great straight strides in electric transformation. The growing popularity of EVs is due to increased incentives, namely national grants, tax subsidies and local incentives. Did you know that it's free to charge an electric car in Sweden? Yes, totally free. The government is picking up the bill. Another amazing fact is that IKEA will install 700 more charging stations at their stores, bringing the total number up to 1000. The reason? They would like their customer to drive to IKEA to shop while their electric car is charging. Back to the top story. Tesla is being blacklisted in Sweden. Tesla is, pop is a popular car for electric car buyers in Sweden. A Tesla customer wanted to cancel his purchase for a Tesla Model 3. The price for the Model 3 was 68,000 US dollar. The buyer discovered that the jacking points under the car were broken. The metal was cracked and bent. The car buyer meant that these were legit reasons for him to cancel the contract. Tesla didn't agree. They claimed that there was not a construction defect, but a cosmetic defect, which affects neither function nor safety. Tesla stated they that they would repair the jacking points. The car owner didn't agree with Tesla's solution, he just wanted to cancel the contract. He had lost his faith in Tesla. This ended up in a legal dispute, and, and in Sweden, consumers can bring these cases into the National Board for Consumer Disputes, ON. ON submits recommendations on how disputes should be resolved. They can recommend repairs, price reductions, or that customers are allowed to cancel contracts. ON's recommendations are not binding, but the majority of the companies follow them. For the last two years, 78% of all ON's recommendations has been followed. It usually takes about six months from the claim to decisions. ON's inquiry is free of charge. In this case, Tesla wouldn't follow ON's recommendations, therefore ON put them on the blacklist, warning consumers to buy cars from them in Sweden. Tesla is now one out of 227 businesses on that list. This case will soon end up in the Swedish courtrooms. What could this mean? Will Sweden consumers drop to buy Tesla? In July, Tesla Model Y was just beaten by Volkswagen ID4 when it comes to sale in Sweden. That was all for now. Tesla is, by the, by the way, performing really good when it comes to sales in 2022. Check out our vid video about that topic, Tesla's insane sales. That was all for now. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon. soon.